What questions are asked in the survey? As you might expect, you're asked to identify who you are. Then you'll be asked to make an overall recommendation about the student that you're rating. There are five measures of contribution to task. There are another five measures of contribution to leadership and the team's processes of working together. Then there is the qualitative feedback that you give uh, about advice to the student for improving their future contribution. Or you may be commenting on their strengths. Finally, you have the opportunity to give advice to the teacher uh, about the overall experience that you're having with the class and or the peer assessment um, process. Overall recommendation. In this question you're asked how likely is it that you would recommend the team member to a friend, colleague or employer. Then there are the five aspects of task contribution such as initiative, attendance, contribution, professionalism and ideas and learning. Then there are the five contributions to leadership and team processes. These include focus and task allocation, keeping the team focused on priorities, encouraging the contribution of all team members, listening and welcoming the contributions of others, managing conflict and harmony within the team, and demonstrating effective leadership for the team and chairing meetings productively. In each of these attributes, you'll be rating your team member against a rating scale. The rating scale is a one to five point scale and you'll rate according to almost never at one extreme, average normal or outstanding, the best in your team. Typically, you'll be giving most members of your team a mid-level rating of three, unless you're a super high-performing team. Just remember to ensure your ratings distinguish between higher and lower levels of performance within your team.